Now, this is another of today's big stories. Well, it certainly is for me. We're talking about the comeback of a Tea Time TV show that was an institution in the 90s and beyond. It doesn't sound quite the same without the Geordie accent, but don't worry, as much as I'm tempted, I'm not going to give it a go. But it is, of course, Biker Goat. You should have done it, Tessa. <laughs> uh, Newcastle accent is amazing. Uh, but anyway, if you can't remember the show, like many of our young journos in the newsroom couldn't, it aired on the BBC for 17 years from 1989 and was about a bunch of teenagers at a youth club of the same name. And it made stars of PJ and Duncan, aka Anton Deck. In a moment, we're going to be talking to another star who got his big break on Biker. But first, Bradley Jones gets us <laughs> ready to rumble. <laughs> A 90s TV classic, the theme tune that takes you back to the good old days, where these familiar faces were just two young lads on Biker Grove. Now. Ah! 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 You're all right, man, you're all right, I'm here. The series saw Aunt McPartland and Declan Donnelly find their fame as PJ and Duncan. And now, they're bringing the show back to the box. Our exciting news is that 17 years after it closed its doors for the final time, Biker Grove is opening them up again. The reboot will be named Biker, with exec producers Anton Deck teaming up with production company Fullwell 73, the masterminds behind the Friends reunion and the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special. Uncle Bryn? In its heyday, Biker Grove gave up-and-coming talent like Jill Halfpenny and Andrew Hayden-Smith a chance to shine. And now, Britain's favourite duo are hoping it'll have the same effect for the next generation of stars. Bringing it back gives us here at Mitre Studios, alongside Fullwell 73, the opportunity to provide sustainable training and employment in front of and behind the camera for talent in the North East. Amazing. We're so excited. It's a move that's not gone unnoticed by the film and TV industry, including some of their old colleagues. So this news is great for two reasons. First of all, it means that crews and casts in the Northeast get work and can tell their own stories and, and can build a, a, a new thriving film industry there. Uh, and secondly, it's great because we don't tell many teen stories anymore. We don't know when or where we'll see the show back on the telly, but rest assured, this theme tune will be ringing in your head. Oh, 